Hey there, today we're going to talk about the fastest way to dictate and quick capture in TickTick. I started using TickTick back in March of this year, and the more I used it, the more I found myself throwing more and more things into there. Once I fully migrated over to TickTick, I found that it became my inbox for just about everything. Tasks, ideas, funny things that people said that I didn't want to forget. I figured out that if I could get it into TickTick, then I wouldn't forget to do it. And so that became the challenge, how to get things into TickTick as quickly and easily as possible. The issue I found was although TickTick has pretty good quick capture and dictate built in, it can never be fast enough just due to how iOS works. Basically, you have to tap the app, wait for it to become responsive, and then you can type in whatever you want. I wanted an easy way where I could tap one button from my home screen and type in whatever it was I wanted to remember without having to wait for an app to load or tap another button once it loads. I just wanted to be able to do it instantly. So I set out to see if I could create a quick capture that was ready with one tap and that I could also dictate too easily while driving in the car or while in the shower. So let me show you where I landed. I've got a quick capture shortcut, a dictate shortcut, and then I can always launch regular tick tick at any point by tapping on tick tick. So let's take a look. If I tap quick capture, this is gonna let me type in anything I want. So my task, this is useful when I get an idea, and I just need to type it in really quickly. So let's say I'm in Readwise and I'm reading some highlight from before and I get some idea based on that. I can double tap the back of my phone and that will also launch my shortcut. There you go. All right, so let me show you how to set this up. You just pull down from the top, you can type in shortcut, tap on the shortcuts app. From here, tap on the plus to create a new shortcut. And let's name this Dictate. I already have one called Dictate, so I'm gonna call this Dictate 2. And then if I tap on that top left, I can change the icon. So I change the color, and then I can also set any icon I want. So let's just choose the AirPod Pros, since that's often what I'm using when I do this. And then if I choose Add Action, I'm gonna tap up here at the top, and I'm gonna search for Dictate and then you'll see this dictate text option under documents. Just tap on that. If you spin that open, just make sure your language is set to the language you speak in. And then I set mine to stop listening after pause. Once you've got that set, tap this search for apps and actions at the bottom again and search for tick tick. And then the item you're looking for is add single task. And then if you tap where it says task and choose select variable for dictated text, hit the done button in the bottom right. And then just remember to spin open this little arrow next to it and choose edit in app. An interesting thing about how Siri shortcuts work is they don't actually launch the application itself, which means the application doesn't get an opportunity to send data back to its server. So what that means is if you don't choose this edit in app option, your task is only going to live on your device until you open TickTick, and that's not what you want. So by choosing edit in app, TickTick will get an opportunity to open and it'll tell the TickTick server about this task so that you can get it on your other devices like your Mac or your PC or any other device that you might use. From here, you're all set. Just choose share and then scroll down and hit add to home screen. You'll get one more chance to change the title if you want to, and then just hit add. Now, if I leave out of here, that'll be on my home screen. And if I tap on it, the first time it's gonna ask for permission for speech, we're gonna allow that. My task. And then it's gonna ask for permission to talk to Tick Tick. Just say always allow so it doesn't ask you again. And there you go, there's that task that we just added. All right, so let me walk you through how to do the keyboard-based quick capture. So if I go back to shortcuts again, and we're just gonna add a new one, most of the steps are gonna be the exact same. Let's set our icon. I'll choose a peace sign for this one. Quick capture. and then choose add action again. And this one, oh, I already have one called quick capture. So we'll fix that in a second. If you just search for tick tick, 
choose add single task again. And then when you type in the task this time, just choose ask each time. And then again, hit done. Remember to spin open the arrow, choose edit in app. And then from here, same step, share, add to the home screen. And let's call that quick cap. I'm gonna call it something different just so it doesn't get mixed up. And again, if I tap on it, it's gonna look for some tasks. So my task five, hit done. It's gonna ask for permission to talk to TickTick. Choose allow, there you go, there's my task. And the last step is you, if you wanna make it work on double tap, you're gonna to go to settings, and then you're gonna choose accessibility, touch, and then scroll down to back tap, and then choose double tap, and choose your new shortcut. So just choose the shortcut you want, and then now if you double tap on the back of the phone, there is your shortcut. And there you have it. That's how I dictate and quick capture in TickTick. If this was helpful, please leave a like and a comment below to let me know. And I also have a video on how to quick launch anything with Alfred that you can click right there. Thanks. Have a great day.